What's up guys, today I want to have a discussion video about Diablo 2 versus Diablo 4 in terms of its itemization. We're going to be talking about the early game and even in the late game. And we're going to be highlighting the newer system here where we can temper and masterwork an item. Basically we would get an item that has three rolls on it that is a legendary and then basically crafting whatever two other things we want on the item that are random, but you do have a little bit of control on what you want to do with some of these recipes that we have. And it's really a cool system to kind of customize and be able to build your own item. And I think that they've done a pretty good job, but I want to go ahead and actually check out this post over here talking about basically why people really like Diablo 2's itemization and why people essentially didn't really enjoy Diablo 4's as much, but I want to say it is getting better. But there are a few concerns here, and I'm curious to know your guys' thoughts on some of the stuff that we'll be talking about. As a Diablo partner here, I actually talked to Blizzard recently about the design of itemization in the game and was kind of questioning why they are actually designing it in this way. And it's specifically me questioning why do normal magic and rare items even exist in the game? This over here is looking at specifically kind of the graph, and this is a graph over here by Boom Shackles, and it was a post that I felt like was really cool, and I wanted to open up the video for a discussion. So this is kind of comparing Diablo 2's itemization of what item is actually good as you're progressing in levels over here. So you see they'll start off over here at level 0 and level 99, and kind of going over what items are actually viable in the end game? And the answer is actually technically everything. There are best in slots, depending on your build, that are in every category. Now, obviously, you're not just going to run a normal item, but the normal item will have some sort of value. You can obviously socket it, you can make it into rune words. So it still has a purpose. Even ethereal items have a purpose, basically for PvP or even the mercenary. So they do have a purpose in the game. Every single item has some sort of way to actually make it viable, even if you want to, let's say, craft using some sort of gems, right? And I really feel like they kind of missed the mark on the new gem system in Diablo 4. If you guys didn't know, in Season 4, we are actually getting kind of a rework on some of the gems, but if you look at anyone's build guides, whether you're visiting any build website, it's basically the same. So you add the rubies and then for your armor to get more life, and then in the weapons, you throw in emeralds for more crit damage, um, or you can go overpower, but it's just basically num number numerical like percent damage on some sort of type. And they wanted to get the whole rid of damage on Tuesday sort of a thing, but there is definitely still that. And then for the jewelry, you just throw in diamonds or some sort of resistance, and then you call it a day. There is something that I want to say that I do kind of have some sort of a solution for some of these items with. So if we compare this image over here, which is a graph this person made, talking about Diablo 2, and if you compare it to Diablo 4's, Diablo 4, normal items, I mean, past level 10, they're worthless. As soon as you get a magic item, it's just going to be objectively better. And then rare, it's going to be objectively better. Legendary, they get better. Then you get rare sacreds, and then they become kind of pointless. And then towards the end game, all of the things that really matter are the uber uniques, greater affixes, and uniques. Now, the thing is, Uber uniques and uniques in season four will actually be significantly worse depending on the item. And that is because we cannot temper those and get these great huge boosts, especially because uh, we would want them to be greater affixes. And obviously when we can temper things to basically get double of bone spears, double frozen orbs, right? Double, it's almost like double damage if you play Path of Exile, right? Chance to deal double damage because if it's a chance to shoot out multiple projectiles, right? That can basically shotgun or do whatever, you're basically having double damage. And that is too big to actually lose. So a lot of the uber uniques and even just the uniques in general with Diablo 4, they lose out on a lot of the stats, specifically in the defensive department. And I've mentioned this as a partner that a lot of these things are going to be kind of useless. And it's kind of sad to see a lot of these uniques that only drop basically in the end game they're actually kind of worthless and they don't actually get to see play. I know, again, depending on the build, some uniques could be the best, but basically if it's not a greater affix item, it's gonna be objectively worse. And because you can mastercraft the greater affix and a greater affix is basically like a primal. It rolls the highest roll, but then it has a 1.5 times multiplier on it. And then you go to masterwork the item, this goes even further beyond it because you can actually greater affix and get the masterworking to give you even a higher stat on this. So objectively, basically all of these things are kind of phased out. 
And I think that their design over here is trying to make it simple for the average player to be able to say, oh, okay, all these items are getting replaced. You're kind of having this sense of progression. And that's the way it is designed. And I want to say there is a disconnect between what a lot of the hardcore action RPG players want. I'm not saying that, okay, uh, a level 10 normal item drops, we should be able to use this at the very end of the game. But there's items like the Stone of Jordan that can drop in Nightmare, specifically like Nightmare Undariel in D2, that are the best in slot for a lot of different builds. And I think that that can be okay, but it's just something that you will not see ever in Diablo 4, where it like an item drops at a, like a lower like world tier like a world tier three item right and that item is so good that you can run it all the way until the very end and i think that that would be something kind of nice because how this is set up and the reason why i'm going to bring this up because it really ties into players retention rate and kind of the excitement that you get before getting those greater affixes or getting the two world tier four because if it's not ancestral it's worthless right let me put it this way. I'm sure a lot of you guys have maybe played Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh when you uh, grew up. Opening up those packs, if there was a chance to get a very, very expensive card, the pack would be more exciting. But essentially, when you're killing monsters in any action RPG, you're basically RNGing some sort of item, right? And if up until like the very, very end of the game, World Tier 4, you know that every single item that you are getting is going to be worthless, it kind of gives you less incentivization to get excited about even playing the game throughout that process. Sure, you can maybe get an upgrade, but you know in your head it's just going to be absolute garbage. And it's so bad that it's not even going to be worth saving to trade later on because the item just doesn't have the item power. This is something that it's kind of similar to D3 in a sense, where like, oh, it just has bigger numbers, it's just better. Maybe this is designed for its simplicity, but I also feel like how it is designed in terms of acquiring the item you aren't getting excited because you know until World Tier 4, everything is absolutely garbage, which brings me up to kind of like the point of like, okay, well then how should we actually change itemization? What can we do to actually make this game better? And I brought this up, and I, I believe Wudijo has actually brought this up too. In fact, Wudijo actually said just delete the blue glyphs. I think that that's totally fine if they decide to delete them, but I want everything to have a purpose in the game, right? If you look at uh, Diablo 4, like everything that is not greater affix, uber unique, or unique is worthless in the game uh, in season four, obviously, because uh, I'm trying to give them some feedback here. And if we go to D2, like everything has some sort of a purpose in the game. Why are there so many things that are kind of worthless? And I think their design philosophy is actually because they do not want to make a loot filter. For whatever reason, the Diablo 4 team is like, no, there's no loot filter. We want you to spend more time playing the game than looking through your items but that's what a loot filter would do and you could still have all these other things that would allow the game to have more complexity and or uh more of a retention rate to have all these items to actually be worth something so players get excited about when something drops because at the very end of the game when you're doing these very high level pits why are you getting rare items there's no point this is like the hardest end game content and there's no special like reason to get these rare items and a loot filter would kind of fix that because a loot filter would essentially let you have all these other things drop and i guess their idea is they don't want you sorting through items and i get that which is kind of a good thing but there are so many worthless things in diablo in terms of items but like if you go to like game like like path of exile there are so many other items like look at how many bows just exist in the game in diablo we got crossbows and then we got the regular bows right so there is a huge difference in terms of maybe them wanting to simplify things so you don't have so many things to go ahead and check out but the tempering system is quite complex and the mass working system is complex and we're adding a lot more complexity again and again to the game as a content creator I enjoy complexity, not because I get to make a YouTube video and go tell you guys, this is how you build the best thing and then people watch it and get views uh, through that. I think the point of an action RPG game is to kind of customize your character to what you want. Maybe you want to scale crit, maybe you want to scale attack speed. That is something that you as a player get to decide and you get to build your own character versus, oh, these are like the absolute best ones and pretty much it's the best in slot for every single uh, build. Just like you would just throw rubies in your chest and then again you throw in uh, let's say uh, emeralds in your weapon and then some sort of resistances in your jewelry slot. I think they could actually go further with the sockets in the game and they could just make jewels. Like why hasn't a game just used the jewel system? This is a amazing system. I know Path of Exile kind of has it with the, the jewel sockets in the tree, but I think this is a really good way for them to make white items, even blue items even better because let's say they roll with multiple sockets and then obviously the gems would then need to be kind of reworked again, which I know I'm asking for 
them to kind of rework something that has recently gotten reworked, but all you did was just move some sort of main stat onto the item in a category where, again, most players just still throw on the rubies, but you could throw on main stat in the uh, armor or the, the defensive department. And I want to say that there could be some room for complexity here. Make blue items just have like five or six sockets. That would be a cool, easy kind of thing to go ahead and maybe think about. And it would add more of a way to customize your character. And then this way you wouldn't care about like the stats on the item as much because the jewels would actually be what would make the item uh, customizable. And I think this is kind of a cool idea. Even if we look at like rare items or crafted items in Diablo 2, this is another way for people to go ahead and craft things that they can sell. And I believe as far as if you do master working or temper the item and obviously you craft the uh, aspect on it, you cannot trade it. I don't know why they're so restrictive on the whole trading aspect. Perhaps they don't want the, the real money trading thing to exist, but if you've played the game, you see people selling the materials on different websites. You can go to eBay and type in Diablo 4 and there's thousands and thousands of listings. This is one thing that I was actually really happy about and I actually was talking about this to them when I said like, if the whole point of not being able to trade items is because of RMT, I mean, I legitimately have emails that companies were offering thousands of dollars for me to advertise. And if they're willing to hit up a Diablo content creator and offer them thousands of dollars to advertise their like buy our durial mats or gold or whatever, they got to be making money. So at the end of the day, I would say this just hurts the player base by not allowing people to trade. And I think that like trading all these items would be really cool, like magic, normal, rare items. Again, this allows the progression of it to not only be these three things at the very end, which you still would want a loot filter for because you still are dropping the rare items at the end game. That's where I feel like that there is a disconnect between what objectively is better. Again, there is zero point at the end of the game to have a rare item drop. Why are they not just converted instantly into materials when this is your system where at the very end of the game, the only good things are the three things, uber uniques, uniques, and greater affix legendary items. So I think that there could be some other things that we can do in the game or just maybe have maybe a super rare chance that you get a rare item that has maybe more affixes uh, and maybe you cannot craft a aspect onto it. It'll have like some other tag where no affix, but all the stats either roll higher or you can have more than four affixes on it. You can go five, six, but again, you would lose out on that legendary potential. Allowing us to have more customization in this game is only going to add more of a life cycle to the game, which I've talked about in terms of retention rate, especially if you guys follow any Diablo content creators, including myself. A lot of times I'll play the game for a couple weeks, I'll drop a bunch of build guides, and then it kind of dies out. I'm gonna be honest, it's kind of like Diablo 3, where we play it for a little bit and then we just hop off. And while this season in particular is going to be taking a little bit longer because they're reworking the items, I still think it's too long. Uh, and on top of that, when we finally get the new update, it doesn't feel like there's enough content. Now I don't we don't have the season four like you know seasonal theme, but the crafting is actually quite great, and I want to be able to do something with this power more than just, oh, we go into an area on the map, and instead of it being green, it's purple, yellow, orange, whatever the color is, and we fight monsters that are just basically retuned in terms of, like, the skin. You change it, but you add a little bit of a, a different color to them, and there's more legendaries that drop. I think there needs to be some sort of substantial, like, mechanic here, although I want to keep this in itemization, but... I want to say that it'd be really cool to have some sort of new mods on items or some sort of different ways to craft items like Path of Exile basically does every single league to get some of these brand new items that you could never get again because it's part of playing in that season. And maybe they could be OP. But another thing I wanted to go ahead and bring up in terms of itemization that I really think that is a feels bad moment is in Diablo 4 since we are like kind of resetting the game every single season basically we have to make a new character. I really don't like that we lose our items completely. Like, basically, the things are absolutely just deleted, right? Whereas in Path of Exile, if you crafted one of those explodey chests um, that was, like, pre-nerfed, uh, it would just all enemies would just always explode when you kill them, and it would do some sort of amount of damage. And then they started lowering, like, the percent chance that it could happen. It'd be like, oh, enemies have a 3% chance to explode or whatever. But before, you could have it 100%. And then you would still have these really cool items that were in like the legacy or eternal realm. And I think that that is an okay thing to go ahead and have. Don't just delete our items. Like acquiring all these malignant hearts to be perfectly rolled on our item. I don't like that we spend so much time grinding for the item and then it just gets deleted. I mean, could you imagine how bad it must have felt for the people that grinded to get the uh, Tears of Blood glyph to 200 and then it's just deleted? Like... I think that people should be able to retain whatever they crafted in whatever season. And I'm not saying they should be able to bring it over to the new season, but I'm saying that that if you want the players to be able to put in the time 
don't just delete the item at the very end. And that ties into itemization for retention rate. And I think that it is definitely something that would make players a lot happier. But at the end of the day, I'm very excited about this new crafting system in terms of itemization, but it was definitely something to think about. And I'm curious to know how you guys feel about it. Because maybe you guys feel like this is part of the progression, like this is Diablo 2's over here, and you guys like the Diablo 4 style, but I just want to go ahead and bring this to your attention, as this is something that I've seen a few people talk about it, and I myself, as well as Lucky Luciano, um, have been talking about like, well, you just made rare items useless in Diablo 4, why is this a thing? I think that normal magic, they could have some sort of crafting purpose or something, but the rare items just being absolutely useless just doesn't sit right with me in terms of a game design. But if their whole game design is to be super casual friendly, and this is kind of the progression, I think this is how they want it in the current state, but I just know that, you know, the people that I talk to may have a little bit more time with action RPGs and they don't mind the other system where everything is useful. But I still think to have items that are useless in the game just seems weird in a game design, especially when they still drop at the very end. Maybe in World Tier 4, you have no normal magic and rare items, and then at this point, okay, that's fine. At least everything that's dropping will still be something of use. Um, but at some point, yeah, greater affixes are the only things that you'd want, and then everything else becomes useless. At least we can get some crafting materials out of them, but again, I would love to know your thoughts on like this whole topic of itemization. Do you guys like the current system, or do you guys think that normal magic and rare should have some sort of purpose? And I, also with the glyphs too, because I, I just don't get the point of blue glyphs. Why did they ever exist in the game, and what purpose may they have in the future? I don't know. I, I, I've given the suggestion of making them have some crazy stats, or make a unique item that says if all items equipped or magic or all your glyphs are magic you get some sort of crazy boost and then you have a brand new build with it but anyways that's my two cents on it long rant but i really feel like diablo 4's itemization compared to diablo 2 is a massive uh like swing in terms of its game design and in d2 pretty much everything does have a purpose and i think that that makes the game feel more well-rounded but anyways hopefully you enjoyed the rant if you did and you want to see more of this stuff and this is your first time here sub and turn the bell notification on and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out